Assalamualaikum everyone, welcome to today's Bitcoin update for Thursday, 2nd of June. And now, you know, we gotta take this thing out of the place. We gotta, uh, you know, do some little bit of experiment. We're gonna have to be doing um, the Bitcoin update once again. So here we are. And, you know, this is the four hour time frame right now. And potentially what we're doing is, you know, what I see here is a break of a trend line and coming down, falling down into the support. So what did you do, guys? One, two, three, four, five, six, right? And then you break it out. You come for the retest. Is this retest going to hold? OK, so before you actually get a little bit bearish, you want to make sure that you be bearish for a reason. OK, there should be reason to be bearish. And right now, uh, the question really remains is, is this just a break of a support? Uh, sorry, a break of a resistance coming down, coming down and falling back into the support, because what you see right now is potentially Bitcoin holding support and going up to the upside. So getting bearish all of a sudden won't help anyway in any way. OK, but first thing is first, you also cannot get bullish at all. And the reason is because you are still in a very big suspenseful situation right now for Bitcoin. OK, so uh, this line that you see, 32,883, you know, this one right over here and this right over here is going to be a little bit of an issue. And even if you were about to go to the upside, then potentially this could be another resistance. And this is where you must break resistance to potentially come up to the $35,000, okay? So all I see right now is that you had some few touches, one, two, three, four, five, six, and now you're finding what was previously resistance, it's turning into support, and that's a good sign. That's actually a good sign, it's not a bad sign at all. It doesn't mean that, oh, Bitcoin is gonna crash all of a sudden to the downside. But I've seen this behavior as well, and I'm gonna tell you this behavior back in, uh, I think it happened in March, maybe. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hide the volumes out of it there and then let's go back here. Actually, let me do this on a different exchange so that everything becomes crystal clear. Hoping you open the Poloniex exchange out of it there. And potentially now, what you're doing instead is, where did we have, where did we have, just a second guys. Yeah, and as, as I said, where did we have that particular falling wedge? Yeah, right over here. And I'm going to show you this falling wedge. Um, there is a scenario that can repeat again, okay? This that you see right over there, right over here, okay? Actually, let's, let's zoom in here so that we can study this one better. And if I do zoom in right there, what was this? This was a falling wedge, right? So boom. To the downside and I do remember making uh, th this falling wedge update back in the days okay so that was a nice beautiful falling wedge and uh, this is where we were taking trades in the signals as well and then from there it went up to what $52,000 and then you made the bearish patterns and then you fall to the downside what did you do instead I'm gonna sh I'm gonna just tell you right now okay you fall back into support just look at that you broke to the upside, you came down, fall back into support. The same way, the same way, if I actually try to do this once again with you right over here, the current situation that we have is almost the same that, that you're doing in the previous history. You break the falling wedge, fall into the support, right? I'm just going to redraw this one. That's the falling wedge right over there. Falling wedge, broke out of it, came back for the retest. But you are doing this based on a very very bad time when the weekend is approaching today is thursday tomorrow is friday and the weekend is upon us the momentum to be pushed to the upside is getting a little bit lower it's not really actually that great okay so i'm not really giving any big expectations right now for bitcoin to start to go back to 34k even though that was the plan but right now falling wedge broke to the upside lure people in and then drop them down and look where it came down to 33,000, and that was a big whooping like from there to there, that was a massive 30% drop to the downside, ladies and gentlemen. So this is something that you're going to have to be very, very careful about. Sometimes they can trick you that, hey, we're, we're, okay, we're looking amazing. It's a falling wedge. We're about to hold the falling wedge. And then what happens, you know? What happens? You go to the downside. Nonetheless, remember one thing. This is an evening star pattern. 
and uh, by the looks of it you might still go back but you really need to cross 32,390 to get a little bit of uh, you know trust that okay Bitcoin is gonna go up there and the favor is that it happens during the weekdays when Monday starts okay so Monday or maybe so if, if we don't dump, dump during the weekends and we start to move to the upside potentially by the start of the week you're gonna go higher you're gonna go higher but even the weekends you you make this kind of shitty movements and uh, you start to move to the downside that's gonna be really really bad because one more thing on the four hour time frame I'm actually gonna let you know this one is that you could be putting in a bear flag number one you do have a continuation pattern known as three black crows number two you have the evening star on the daily just as i showed you and right here you might be making a false move to the upside and that's gonna be if i turn on the volume um look there's no volume okay there is no volume where's the volume where the hell are the buyers man where the hell are the buyers why, why are they running anyway okay so the buyers are now stepping in and what you can see from here if you start to break out of this neckline of the bear flag you're looking for bitcoin to basically drop you all the way down to 27,651 so this is where if the breakout happens and so far to me it seems like it's a bear flag because starting by friday i do think you're gonna start to lose it anyway that's why I say it's a good thing if you break the flag and you come up here and break the evening star as well for us to de determine the future of what Bitcoin looks like in, for the upside. But one more thing before I actually close the update is that I want to show you the DXY and the DXY is a huge pain in the butt. The reason why it is is because DXY is still probably bullish it was never uh it, it still has a technical journey to go to the upside and we still haven't met the technical journey so uh, right now you've already break the downtrend look at that downtrend and it seems like it was some sort of a falling wedge do you see that almost a falling wedge just like that so if things go uh, the, the way it's it's supposed to go technically then you're looking for this trend line to be respected out here for the DXY and all you're doing is you're going up coming down holding the support going up coming down holding the support and you can move like this in a waveform and then come up here to the 105 and that would actually be bad for Bitcoin because when DXY goes up Bitcoin goes down the dollar the dollar is getting some good news let me just tell you that straight off the bat it's getting some amazing news and it's really really important to actually observe observe the dollar at this point of time so things are not quite interesting anymore uh you still have technical journey to go to the upside and i'm going to show you this technical targets actually it's on the weekly time frame so let's dive into the weekly and all you're doing is you came down to the support look on the weekly time frame okay so what what did you do here uh you made a nice big big whooping looking w one two three just like that broke out of it coming for the retest and it seems like dxy party is just getting started and bitcoin has a lot of trouble it still has a lot of trouble so dxy is gonna be really really bad for bitcoin moving forward uh in the next coming few days few months whatever and i already told you the the month of june is not really that good looking by the way and uh yeah but it is what it is guys the the lowest you will actually go for bitcoin is come down again to this trend line and that would make sense maybe bounce off the trend line and then start to go to the upside never say never this could still be a nice big whooping w like this and then you go up here to the thirty six thousand, and then in the future you go to the downside i'm still following this huge falling wedge that i just made on the daily time frame so this is going to serve us for the next coming maybe two three months seven months potentially it's got it's it's kind of a long game right now that you're gonna have to wait about but let's see how the uh, the events are going to turn around and that's it for today's update hope you enjoyed this one and i'm gonna see you in the next one hello office